Hey friends, and good morning. We are at Universal Studios today. It is the first day for the annual pass holder previews, and I am so excited to get back in a theme park. Let's go do this. It is 8.20 a.m. Our check-in is at 8.45 on Universal Studios Orlando side, and so far, the crowds are looking very light, actually. I don't know how that's gonna be in a couple minutes, though. It definitely seems very peaceful here, and you can see they have the water taxis up and running because the resorts are open. Oh, and in the background, we can see Rip Riding riding. That is awesome. And as we peek over, we can see we're getting a little bit of gathering here, but it's not as bad as I really predicted. I thought it was gonna be super busy today. And it looks like they're bringing out the welcome float. That's really cool, it's a welcome float. <laughs> it's time, we're actually gonna be <laughs> going in now. And I'm excited to see if we're still using the fingerprint scanner. There we go, good, good. Thank you. And just like that, we are back in another theme park. I am so happy and good to know it out that you do not use the fingerprint scanner. In fact, all they did was scan our key. That's awesome. Just to be back in a theme park, like I said, it's just so exciting. And look at, there is nobody down this way. We kind of just have our freedom to walk around. Now, it officially doesn't open till nine o'clock to pass holders, but we're in a little bit early, and I'm just loving it. I'm already loving it, I'm loving the music. This is great. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. And look, we finally get the front facade of the Bourne Spectacular. That's my first time seeing this, actually. Wow, so many new things coming. And if you notice, they have the six feet separator or the little stickers that they actually put on the ground here so that whenever they have a performance on the stage here that they have marked off already. But I don't know how me and Josh got so lucky, but we are literally standing here with nobody around us. That's a little crazy, isn't it? Social distancing. I mean, there, there's no better way to social distance than right now. We are in a theme park, and uh, I would say there's not a single person besides us and probably 100 feet. Wow. This is great. <laughs> One of the cooler things that they're actually doing is the virtual line experience where you can join a virtual queue, kind of like Rise of the Resistance. So since it's only 8.52 and most of these actually open at nine, we're gonna try to do it like Rise of the Resistance and see if we could just get a virtual spot real quick. And we're coming up on the first line of the day, actually. This is the first time I've seen anybody lined up for anything. And it's right here to get some amazing pictures. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually to get on the Hogwarts Express. But look at that. If that's what the line for the Hogwarts Express is going to be, then we need to check out Diagon Alley. Oh, man. They legit have <laughs> spacers for the telephone booth. How awesome is that? My favorite part. Oh, boy. Well, hello! Wow, it's not that bad. I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a lot shocked. This is awesome. I love it. As you can see, the social distance separators to actually get into the gift shops, because you know it's going to be busy. But look at that, lined up right down Diagon Alley. I am so happy to be back here now. And it's awesome because it's kind of like this right now and we get to experience that before it kind of gets a little chaotic. And it's just, I'm just very grateful, very, very happy. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna celebrate by getting myself a butterbeer. But wait. Oh boy. I don't think it's actually spitting fire. Maybe so that it doesn't cause a gathering inside Diagon Alley. That would make kind of sense. So I guess let's get back to the butterbeer. And Josh is showing some good sanitizing. Thank you. 
So now that we have our butter beer, good question is, is where can we go sit down and drink it? I just talked to one of the team members and they told me that they do have some benches outside where you can drink your butter beer, but if you just pull over to the side and as long as you're socially distancing yourself, you can actually just take your mask off and enjoy a butter beer or a snack. So I kind of have the perfect spot where I'd like to do that right up on these steps because every time i've ever come here they were always crowded so we're gonna socially distance ourselves and sit on the steps and drink a butter beer josh Sounds good to me oh here it is I guess just the 9 a.m. burst was a dud. So we are, we've got fire. <laughs> and I got too excited being in Diagon Alley that I forgot to try exactly at nine o'clock. But so far, the virtual lines are open. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna reserve a spot. And look at that. We can literally go to Gringotts at 9.50, which is literally, what, 30 minutes from now? Uh, just about, yeah. yeah. Huh. And you can slide up and add how many guests you'd like and then reserve the spot. Bada bing, bada boom. Awesome. Mask back on because I'm all done with my butter beer. And I think we're gonna move along here and maybe head on over to one of my favorite Universal Studios Orlando attractions of all time. But before we get there, I think I'm gonna take a run through the Leaky Cauldron to see what they have set in place for social distancing. Ooh. I could see all the different separator spots. They ask you to sanitize before you approach. Look at that. If you come in here and you're actually gonna get something, you can get a beer to go. But if you're dining in, you go and you get seated at a table, someone comes over, you place your order, VIA, the mobile ordering app, and they bring it right to your table. And they have the uh, mobile QR ordering right there. So you can pull up the menu, place your order, and then they bring it right to you. They aren't spacing out the tables though. They are sitting back to back. One thing I did notice, but that's not a requirement here in Florida because we are in phase two. But two weeks ago, they'd have to seat every other table. I did grab myself a good old beer just for educational purposes only. I wanted to show you how it works. But now we're gonna move our way over to AT. Well, every time I say I'm about to head somewhere, something else comes up that's very cool. And right now, I wanna show you guys a special little spot where you can go, take off your mask and enjoy. It's right here and it's called the U-Rest area. You can just come in here, remove your face covering and just kinda of just take a breath, a breather. Yeah, so we're just gonna explore a little bit in here. It looks very pretty. They have tables, umbrellas, even some fans. Men in Black has got a five minute wait. Oh, I'm sorry, we moved along from the U-Rest area. Forgot to say that, but it's important to point out the wait times just so you could see what it's gonna be like. So far, the crowd still seem very quiet and it is almost 10 o'clock. Can you believe it's only been an hour? We haven't done anything except for looked at things and stood around a little bit. I got a beer, yeah. And I keep on telling everybody we're gonna go to ET. Haven't made it there yet, but we're on our way. And here is the other U-Rest area in Central Park. I can tell you, I like this one better already, only because of the views. There's absolutely no shade, but I love it in here. This is nice. How relaxing, you can just kind of hang out, socially distance yourself, and just enjoy. Take off your mask. 
one thing I really want to be honest about is this is like the ultimate test with the mask in the park. If you can compare this to City Walk and Disney Springs when they first opened, it's not even close to the same thing because the amount of distance you're walking is already triple. You know what I mean? We've already walked through City Walk halfway through Universal Studios already. So uh, that's a lot of, you know what I mean, a lot more to take in than just doing the common areas at Disney Springs and City Walk. Here it is, the ET ride. Doesn't open till 10 a.m. now, so we're gonna wait it out because we only have two minutes to go. Peeking in, you can see the six feet separators inside the queue here, but we'll actually get to see it in a couple seconds. This is gonna be our first ride, and after this, we have a virtual uh, wait. We have a virtual pass for Gringotts, so it's gonna make a lot of sense. And look at that. Oh wait, are we open? Give me one quick moment, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we're just getting a few things ready. If you're waiting in the standby queue, just head on down to the left side for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. No name? Welcome home. My name is Nate. Sorry. Oh, this is all I want it to be. So, because we are social distancing, there's going to be five of us, and we're all going to actually get our own cart on one. And it's Bianca, Prince Charming Dev, Jackie Super Enthused, Josh, Walt Disney World Couple, and... Paging Mr. Morrow. Oh. <laughs> Sanitize. Thank you. Thank you. You guys get you squirted? I didn't get squirted yet. There we go. I just got squirted. There you go. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh no. They got E.T. 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 was everything and more. I am so happy. E.T. is one of my favorite rides of all time. It was really cool. We got to ride it with some friends and just have fun. It was great. I was so happy. Also really cool to point out that Animal Actors is actually still running. I didn't think they would be doing shows, but 
they're doing them today. 11.45 is the first one. Look at that. And our first look at social distancing meet and greets right here. Video. You guys staying out of trouble? Look at that. I, I don't know, I don't know. Is your ride open? I'm gonna go ride it. No, it sucks. I'm not riding that ride. <laughs> and look, setting up social distancing for meet and greets with the night bus. That's really interesting. We decided to head back over to Gringotts because we did set up that virtual pass for 1020, but we were running a couple minutes behind. ET didn't open up exactly at 10, so we're gonna see if they'll still let us use it. Um, we're about 10 minutes late, so we'll see. And it looks like we are gonna ride, but before we have to actually put our stuff in the lockers one at a time. So Josh is in there, and then I'm gonna go in next. And uh, of course, no filming on the ride. So we'll let you know how it goes when we get out. And when we come back out, things definitely got a lot busier around here. I want to point out probably the most important thing about riding the rides at Universal Studios and especially Grink Rods. The biggest thing and the, the most difficult thing was actually getting your stuff in and out of the lockers. I felt like that was pretty difficult actually. You, you can only go one at a time per locker section and it's backed up into the hallway itself. Not too long, but I mean, if you have a family, they have to go out and you have to wait. And I could see you waiting like 20 minutes just to get your stuff out of the locker. So I feel like that's going to be a very big challenge, especially here. Not so much at Disney because they don't use the locker system as much. Maria, Hufflepuff, Jenna, Gryffindor. Now, were you guys officially sorted into those houses? Based on like a BuzzFeed quiz. Yeah. I don't know. No, no. I know. What are you waiting for? Stop spreading the news. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> that was perfect. Josh is leaving us now. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> New York. New York. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Escape! <laughs> Josh is actually heading out. That's what that whole musical number was about. And we're going to head to the Islands of Adventure. He is going to check out some more of the stores up front. And uh, I don't know. I think we're going to take the Hogwarts Express and uh, see how the line is there, actually. And it actually looks like there's no line. Before, there was a line when we first got here, but now it seems like it's just open. So it says virtual line passes only, but there is no virtual line. And right now it's waiting at a 55 minute for standby. So I don't think we're gonna take the good old Hogwarts Express. Some more social distancing meet and greets happening here. He's calling us over. Oh, hey. Hi. What's going on, Shrek? Have you missed us? We've missed you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we look alike, I think. I hope not. Yeah, we both have bald heads. <laughs> and we just saw Shrek, but now Optimus Prime is gonna be coming out. And like all the other meet and greets, this one's different though because it's kind of the same way it was before. You stand in that red little area, Optimus Prime is going to be right here. So it's kind of awesome. I'm excited. Uh oh. Alert. Optimus Prime. Oh, they shut the music yeah, what off. Happened? Woo! Welcome, Freedom Fighters. Yes! My name is Optimus Prime. I am an autonomous robotic organism from the planet Cybertron. An Autobot for short. We had to take a second here. I had to find a place to just park it 
and take off the mask. Now you know that they have those rest areas in the park, like near Central Park and over by Fear Factor. There's two per park, so either here or Islands of Adventure. But I just needed to relax a little bit. I had a little Bud Light. Now I'm sitting down, relaxing with Jackie. It was almost impossible to get into the restaurants impossible like there was a wait after wait after wait and that's okay because we know that and we expected it but after this i think i'm going to check out and see if i can get one of those fancy universal annual pass holder masks i think i'd like that one thing i definitely wanted to get before i left was one of these universal annual pass holder masks and they're selling them three for 15 and they have this other one like this and also one that says love is universal. I went with two of these ones and this one, so I'm excited to test them out. And yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a real lot. It's really nice. Yes, it fits very good. It's not very like, like, you know, I like it. It's like clinging to your face? Yes. Like it fits good? This is good. Okay, good. And as the rain comes down, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, Jackie's not, she doesn't care. She said it's rain doesn't bother me anyway. Yes. And she's heading over to Islands of Adventure. Me though, I think I had a lot I had a lot of plans for today and I think I got most of them accomplished. Fair so uh, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I'll see you next time. Bye.